I'm Tim Curran, and I think I'm a pretty good chef, and I'm going to compete for Panama's next Top Chef. Let's go to the kitchen. we got a quick fire to do. Hi, welcome to another edition of Panama's Top Chef. As you can see, I've got some onions and peppers simmering away there, and I've got some, I'm going to turn this on here. This is a little bit of water, and I just got to get the air. It's fired up. So I got some water on the kettle there, on the stove burner, and I've got some peppers and onions in some olive oil there, and that's going to be my dinner tonight, right there, and there is going to be, that's the start of my breakfast for tomorrow, because I'm always thinking about the next day. Okay, what I'm going to do now, I see that the peppers and onions are cooking up a little bit, and I want to make sure that they are get they get stirred around and not burned because I'm gonna make this with chicken and maybe I'm gonna put some peanuts in it and it's gonna taste very very good. What you see me doing here now is chopping up an apple and I'm gonna be using this apple in my breakfast for tomorrow. They say that an apple, this is what I heard from my students, saying that an apple has as much caffeine as a cup of coffee. As much stimulating properties. I don't know, not caffeine, but it gives you as much pep as one cup of coffee. So I have an apple in the morning. It's like straight up rocket fuel for me. Well, welcome back to Panama's Next Top Chef. I've got some breakfast already here today, or it's actually for tomorrow. And what I do is I take one cup, it's about one cup, and I put it in my little uh, plastic container here, and we call that Tupperware. And I put in one cup of oatmeal. It's good for the heart oatmeal and so I put that in and I say to myself hmm why not why wouldn't I have some wheat germ and so I'm gonna put some wheat germ in there's a little pro soy based protein powder I know that some people say that soy powder makes you depressed I don't feel that way so I'm gonna go for it that's what someone at my last school told me in the Dominican Republic so I put a little raisins in there they're gonna get nice and plump I'm very proud perhaps too proud of the fact that I never buy sugar at the grocery store. Some would say I'm sweet enough. <laughs> well, I don't know. Some would think I'm sweet enough. But uh, we all got room for proof here. So, I put a little svelte. This is a, a milk powder. It's a fat-free milk powder. And I'm just about ready to go. Gonna add those apples. So here's my little jolt in the morning. And what I'm gonna do is, because Oh, here's my wheat germ. So many times, and this is like a, a quick fire here because I'm working very quickly, but so many times in my life, I have been in the tropics, in East Timor, in Kenya, and then the Dominican Republic. I go work out, and then when I come back home, I shower, and I shave, and I make some oatmeal, and I'm clean, and I'm dry, and I've got deodorant on, and I put in a little cologne on, I'm looking good, and I'm feeling good. And then, I eat oatmeal and I'm pouring sweat again, so much so that I'm soaked right through my shirt. So, what I do here now, is I take the, the, this mixture here, and I put the hot water in with it. We're almost ready to boil there. Maybe we'll bring this heat just up a little bit. And, when I do, what I'll do is I'll have this soak overnight in hot water, in boiling water, let it cool down. And by the morning it's lukewarm, and so then I don't sweat. Well, they say a watch pot never boils, but so, and in that case, I had to look away for a while, because now we've got some bubbling action there. That's enough hotness for me, for my morning oatmeal. So I'm going to turn that off, and I'm just going to pour that into this mixture here. This is what I do every night. Pour, pour, pour away. That'll just about all go in there, if I'm doing it right. Can we squeeze it all in there? Yes, how about that? Not bad. Not bad at all. And what I'll do now is I'll give it a little stir action because I want those, I want all of the oats and the dry substances like the powders that I use, the milk powder and the soy protein powder, I want that to contact the water so I don't get these dry bites tomorrow morning. And also I want to make sure the raisins are going to get into that protein powder, I'm uh, sorry, into the hot water as well because they're going to plump up and they're going to give me some sweetness to this which is going to be fabuloso tomorrow morning. I'm going to show you that result tomorrow morning but right now we've got to get back to dinner and lunch tomorrow. I'm going to prepare all three meals in one sitting. What a quick fire this is going to be. So what I'm doing now is I'm 
cutting the chicken into bite-sized bits. I don't want to go too small, but I don't want to go too large either. Kind of like uh, Goldilocks. This one is too big, this one is too small, and this one is just right. Alrighty, so there is my chicken, and I think it's just about ready to go in. I do like it with peanuts, but it's important to make sure you put the peanuts in last, because you don't want the peanuts to get all soggy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir that around and make sure that chicken gets nice and cooked. I've just stirred the chicken into the onions and the peppers, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the heat just a smith, just to get that chicken cooking away. I want to make sure that chicken is cooked, and then after it's cooked, I'm going to reduce it and just keep it warming for a while. Because right now, I'm going to make tomorrow's lunch, which is going to be a fabulous salad. I got a lot of compliments on this salad, and I'm going to show you how I make it right now. Tomorrow, I'm going to have a, a nice salad at lunch, and I just went to El Rey Supermercado. Now, the Rey is a little more expensive than the Super 99, but you can get some nice, look at this beautiful lettuce I get. And the stuff I get at Super 99 is often less than the best quality. I hear that Reba Smith is even better, but uh, I don't know where the Reba Smith is around here. So I'll give that a good washing. I find that there's a, there's a proper ratio of lettuce to the rest of the stuff in your salad. And you don't want to do too much lettuce and be just chewing away like a cow all lunch period long. You want just about enough lettuce, like that's about good. You want to fill about half of your Tupperware container, and I'm going to decorate the ground, make it nice and neat, just like this. It's going to be beautiful. I look at my quick fire timer, and I've got about 10 minutes left, and so I'm working under the gun. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a red pepper. Now, the red pepper is full of antioxidants and all sorts of good vitamins and minerals, and I, the number one thing is I really like the taste of the red pepper, so I'm just going to put that in there like that. I love a tomato, so I wash, and I'm a good dicer. I think one of the things you have to do, if you're going to make a proper salad, is you're going to make these things into small little bits. Now, I hear the chicken over here, so I'm just going to give it a quick turn as I'm looking at the clock and uh, throwing the chicken back into the pan, just making sure this chicken goes from that fleshy color to the white color, and it looks like the other peppers and onions here are softening up nicely, so that's doing well. So I've got this tomato here, got a lot of good, right so far, as you see, we've got a lot of good red and green. It looks very Christmassy here, but we're not done. The next step in constructing our salad is to put another apple in there. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Tim, you just had an apple for breakfast. Don't you think that's a little too much of that natural stimulation? Well, I figure if an apple a day keeps the doctor away, then two will keep me healthy forever, or just about ever. I don't want any kind of Benjamin Button situation going on. I want to pass away with my peers, so it's not like I'm looking to live forever, but I just want quality years, and I want quantity too. I want it all, and I don't want to get any kind of uh, disease, but... You know, you never know when you're going to run into a bus anyway. So, I guess that's Apple Philosophy 101. I'm kind of rambling here. What I really want to do is show that I do believe a salad should have a fruit. Uh, should have a bed of lettuce. I used, in the DR, I used to get some nice spinach. It's hard to find spinach here, but I think the salad should have a fruit, a nut, some lettuce or spinach, lots of vegetables, and some sort of meat product. So I'm going to go with turkey today because uh, I'm going to go with turkey today, making it for tomorrow, and because I had tuna fish today, but uh, for, for lunch today. But I did buy some beautiful salmon in the can. I'm going to have that maybe the next day after that. What I'm doing here now is I said that you should have an, uh, a nut. It makes it very tasty. What I've chosen is this almond. Even though these cost me an arm and a leg, I go with them because they're very tasty. I mentioned earlier that a good salad has a cheese, and what I like is a feta cheese. And so, what I do is I take some feta, and I just crumble it on top there. See, I've got a nice salad going. It's starting to look how my salad should look. So I do, I, I just crumble this cheese on top, and I try to spread it out. And you can see that this is going to be nutritious and delicious. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you people out there would say, cheese? is not good for you, but I would count
encounter with, like, look at the French. The French are eating cheese all the time, and they're very healthy. And so what I do is I, I don't use too much of it. Well, maybe you saw the piece there. It's a significant piece. It's not like I'm, I'm not cheese shying away. I'm not shying away from cheese. I'm not afraid of cheese. I enjoy it, so I have it. Now, one of the best parts of the feta is you get it on your hand. Mm. It's quite delicious. So, yeah, this is part of the process. Every night I finish the feta off, and then I can wash my hands now. I mentioned earlier, I'm a big believer that you should have some sort of protein in your salad. Not in your salad, in my salad. I enjoy a protein. I like to have that protein. And usually I get uh, turkey or chicken or I've been doing some fish recently. However, it, uh, the, the Super 99 always has good turkey, uh, turkey breast, but I couldn't find that at the Ray, or the ones I found were so expensive that I went with this turkey. I know it's not very good for me. I know, I'm not, but this is not the, the turkey I use every day. So what I do is I quarter some turkey, and I just put it over the top like that, just to give me a nice balance of some sort of protein on top. So that's going to wallop me with protein. I'm going to be feeling great tomorrow because I'm going to be ripping down my muscles tomorrow morning, and this will help me recover in the end. the grocery store, it always seems I forget one thing, and today I, fought, I forgot balsamic vinegar. So what, to finish it off, I usually put a little oil over the top, or you might think it's a lot of oil. I just put some oil over the top of my salad, and then I usually put balsamic vinegar, but as you see here, oh, I'm all out of it. It's all out. So this is what I'm going to have. It's just this salad, and it's ready to go for tomorrow. It's going to be delicious. Delicious. My chicken dinner is now sizzling in the pan, as you can see here, and I've just added some peanuts to it, and in retrospect, I was thinking, I should have probably cooked the chicken first, and I wish I had some soy sauce to put on this. It would be good. I, I just never bought the soy sauce. It's still going to be good, but if I could do it again, those are the two things I'd change. Probably cook the chicken first, because it's a little tricky to cook the chicken with all those vegetables in there. And I would have used some soy sauce, but it's going to be good. A lot of people have asked me, why are you doing this, Tim? Why are you trying to be Panama's next top chef? And the truth of the matter is, if I must be honest, is that I have an awesome Brazilian girlfriend, and her and I really enjoyed watching America's Next Top Chef. So that gave me an idea. Maybe it would be up to maybe it would be a good idea for me to try to be the next Panamanian Top Chef. Although I have a great, I mean, awesome, incredible girlfriend, love of my life. She's far away in Brazil. So, on an average night, this is what dinner looks like. It's it's a book, maybe there's a computer on, and the presentation may be pure bachelor, but the taste is pure heaven. Let's see, let's see. Mmm! 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 Tim, that is good. That is really good. Mmm! Well, we're back here on Panama's Next Top Chef. It's the next morning, and I'm just going to finish off that oatmeal breakfast. What I've done is I've warmed up some olive oil in a pan, and I'm going to crack six eggs and put them in here on a low heat. Now, you want the heat low, because otherwise the eggs will get hard. You can see I've got the eggs cooking away under a very low flame, and those will brown up. Uh, sorry, those all get cooked over about 10 minutes or so. Oh, look at those eggs now. A few minutes later, and they're just about perfect. I'm going to reduce this heat to zero and turn that off. And we'll take a look at our oatmeal. How's that going? Oh, that's perfect. That's just how we like it. Good texture. And I'll mix that around, and that's going to be lovely. So now I'm ready for the final phase of the breakfast meal in this quick fire is that I want to carefully now remove the egg yolks. There's the beautiful presentation of uh, the final part of this quick fire. I put the extra olive oil from the eggs on top of the oatmeal and I got some juice and we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Mmm. Yeah. That's delicious. That's really good. I know, I know no one else is here, but I really think that I won this quick fire. And of course, here is our beautiful oatmeal, and I'm just going to stir this up a little bit to make sure all the powders and good 
oats and wheat germ gets mixed through. We'll see how this goes. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really good. That is really good.